First Samuel 31, and the Philistine were fighting against Yisharal, and the men of Yisharal fled from before the Philistine and fell slain on Mount Gilboa. And the Philistine followed hard after Shaul and his sons. And the Philistine smote Yahunathan and Abinadab and Malkishwa, sons of Shaul. And the battle went hard against Shaul, and the archers hit him, so that he was severely wounded by the archers. And Shaul said to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword, and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised men come and thrust me through, and roll themselves on me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was greatly afraid. So Shaul took the sword and fell on it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Shaul was dead, he also fell on his sword and died with him. Thus Shaul died, and three of his sons and his armor-bearer, also all his men, together on that day. And they saw the men of Yesharal, who were beyond the valley, and those who were beyond the Yarden, that the men of Yesharal had fled, and that Shaul and his sons were dead. So they forsook the cities and fled, and the Philistine came and dwelt in them. And the next day it came to be, when the Philistine came to strip the slain, that they found Shaul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent word throughout the land of the Philistine to announce it in the house of their idols and to the people. And they placed his armor in the house of the Ashtaroth, and they fastened his body to the wall of Beit Shan. And the inhabitants of Yabesh Gilead heard what the Philistine had done to Shaul, and all the brave men arose and went all night, and took the body of Shaul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beit Shan. And they came to Yabesh and burned them there. And they took their bones and buried them under the tamarisk tree at Yabesh, and fasted for seven days.